Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another One Piece the Card Game uh, Booster Pack Unboxing. This is for uh, Series 4, Kingdom Kingdoms of Intrigue. Um, so right here, of course, we have Luffy on the front, and we have Trogleful Gilaw. I think I said his name right. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually heard it pronounced. Uh, yeah, this is set four, so it's gonna add definitely some interesting stuff. I don't, I don't check these out ahead of time to see what's in them usually, uh, because I like to be surprised. I think the only spoiler I have is I thought I read that all the leader cards are dual colored, uh, but maybe that was for the next set. Um, but we'll find out. Uh, so what do we have in here? We have 124 plus one types in total, so 45 commons. 30 uncommons, 26 rares, 10 super rares, 2 secret rares, 6 leaders, which leaders usually fall in about the uncommon slot. Um, they have 5 specials, which are, I think, considered to be like the secret rare. Uh, secret rare to super rare level, somewhere in there. Uh, and then 1 Don card. Now this is actually interesting because they've had a bonus Don card in the at least series packs two and three. I don't have any of series one. Um, Romance and Dawn, so I can't say that for sure. But it's cool that now they're actually listing it on there. Um, and all it is, it's a Dawn card with special artwork. So instead of just having the, the black and white card with the text on it. You now you actually get one with some artwork on it. It's really cool. Um, so, yeah, what's... What we're going to do here is if you uh, watch my other videos, or if you're not familiar, I'll just read re go over what I do. I will go through um, about half the packs. I have, technically, I have 24. Um, I have 20 regular packs, and I have some a special special box with some extra packs. And so I've, I'll be going through 24 packs. I'll do half of them, probably about half or so in video one. Um, and then video two, I will start going through the second half. Um, it'll be about half and half. Um, we'll see how long the first one starts to take. Uh, but what happens then is I, in between videos, I will, like, count up, see what I have, find out what I'm missing, and we'll kind of go from there. And then as I run out of commons, I will stop showing all the commons as I run out of uncommons and rares, so on and so forth. Just to kind of speed up the second half of the video. So I might do less packs in the first half, because the second half will go a lot quicker anyhow. Um, additionally, I will read off... Pretty much all the text on the cards. I don't usually read off like the powers and the costs and all that. But I like to read off what the abilities are. And maybe talk about them a little bit. Um, and then when, when I do the video part two. Is if I've already seen a card in part one. I won't re-go over it again. Um, so there's that. So what's the special thing we have in here? This is actually the first thing I want to go. I want to open up. Is we have this box here. It's called... Kingdom of Inkling du Double Pack Set 1. Um, so it's listed as DP01. Uh, it's a nice little box here that we get. So what is in there is basically you have two packs of this set. But a special Don Pack with two cards in it. Uh, sorry, one card in there. There's two types. There are two different artworks of the special Don cards. Which is kind of cool. So you can get a couple more. Um, so I mean that means... If there was one in the base game, there could be four total, five, six. You have six total. So we're getting close to, the, I think, the ten or so that come in a starter deck. You have almost all completely unique artwork, which would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and open this up and see what's in there. So this just kind of slides off. Um, and then we kind of got a little deck box. It's not like a super official... Uh, the best deck box ever. I mean, it works as a deck box. It pops in and out. It has this little flap here. It kind of holds it in place. Uh, then we just got some packs in here. So, yeah, if you are looking for, like, a little cheap deck box, you're going to buy some of these anyhow. This is definitely a way to go. Um, all right, then we will have our packs here. So, we'll have just two brand new packs. So, just the same as any other pack in there. So, I'm just going to throw them on my piles. And then we have the special Don card. Now, I do have a second one of these, which I will probably open up in video part two, just to kind of say something special for that. Um, but let's see what it's say. Anything else on here? Nope. Nothing extra special on there. So let's open this up right away. Let's just see what the special Don card is. Um, I'm opening up that. 
Uh, so going through the sets, usually I so like 24 is how many packs are in a box. I bought these as single single packs as opposed to a full booster box. But typically with these games, I will get all the commons, all the uncommons. Um, I should have all the rares, but I could potentially be missing one or two rare by the end. Um, and then when then super rares, I usually get a little over half. Um, so I usually get six or seven of them. So I'll probably be missing three or four. Secret rares um, and specials and alt art. Um, I usually get about, you know, they're all about the same rarity. So you get about two per box. You get either a secret rare, an alt rare, or you're going to get a special and you're going to get two of them. So I might get a secret rare and a special or a special and alt art. I could get, I, I typically get different ones, but it's always possible I could get um, an alt art, you know, secret rare or an alt art, um, or I could get two specials. I don't know. And then Don cards, I usually getting one about per box, um, or per 24 packs. All right. So here is our brand new Don card. Um, yes, yeah, so this is pretty cool. So if that way, if you want to play with the Don card, but just have a little bit of extra artwork on there, it's definitely neat. Um, who do you think you're ordering around? You're a two-bit green horse. Straw hat, Luffy. Upstarts, you are a dime a dozen. It's awesome. Crocodile is steering Luffy. Um, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I have two other ones. One's a uh, um, Sanji one. And then the other one is a red hair Shanks one. Which I'm not going to show up here. You can go look them up or go watch my other videos for them. Um, but that is definitely cool. Alright, so we're going to open up the first pack and see what happens. Now I hope the other box I get the other one. That would be really awesome. Um, luckily, it seemed like the, the boxes were basically the same price as buying two packs of cards. So, essentially, if you're just trying to collect them, you can buy these and get a couple of these as well. Alright, so we're going to hop into our first set. It is very possible. I won't know who a lot of these characters are, especially if they're later. I have watched up through, I've watched and read the anime, or the, I've watched, read the anime, I've, I've watched a decent amount up, of stuff, i watched up through the Alabasta arc, I have read through that, and I have also read Impel Down, uh, other than that, everything else to me is kind of sketchy, I would like to catch up on all of it, uh, just if anyone knows, it's, it's a hard thing to dig into. Um, all right, so we're going to start. We have a green card. East Blue, former Navy. We have Daddy Masterson. I have no idea who this guy is, but he has so many guns. Um, gone. End your turn. Set this character as active. Yeah, you just fire and you're like, I'm ready to go. Um, that is definitely cool. Uh, yeah, so down the bottom here we'll have... Uh, OP for, we'll see for comments. We go to the comments first. Of course, a little devil fruit there showing its uh, first edition. Uh, cost, power, uh, attack type rank. I don't know if I've ever seen anything mentioning the attack types yet. So hopefully that's something if I haven't seen it or if I don't remember it. Hopefully that's something they start integrating because it's a really neat idea. All right, up next we have in black, we have Orlumbus. Uh, from Gasserosa and Yanta uh, Marina Fleet. Um, Alright, so interesting. So black is usually the government um, or Navy controlled groups. So this kind of looks like might be something with that. With the Marina Fleet. Uh, active main. Once per turn, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus four costs during this turn. And trash two cards from the top of your deck. Then kill one of your Desterosa type characters. Interesting. So really reduce your one of your opponent's um, characters. But you have to take a pretty decent hit for it. But I'm going to guess if you're tailing your characters. There must be a use for it. Um, interesting. Oh, Reg. We have Kung Fu Dragon from Animal and Alabasta. So is Reg going to be the Alabasta color? So each color usually has a theme to it. Um, so it's like black will probably be Desarosa. Um, green might be East Blue. Not sure yet. We've only seen one. We can't, can't always judge it by one card. Red could be uh, Alabasta stuff. Um, we've seen Crocodile in the promo. So that's definitely an idea. Um, and Law is going to be in one of them. 
if you have kung fu jag if you have a kung fu jagging other than this character this character gains blocker oh neat so they kind of gang up and become blockers that's really a fun effect all right then in blue we have east blue um ooh, uh ipomatsu so this is the oh right here i just literally saying i hope they have someone that has uh uses them of them keywords up there on play up to one of your slash attribute characters gains 3,000 power during this turn. Then trash one card from the top of your deck. Speak of it and it shall happen. This is the guy that sold Zoro his swords. Um, like the one curse when he tried to like, oh, you want that cursed sword? And Zoro flips it up and whips it around his arm. Um, that's, that's definitely cool. Alright, in yellow we have... Uh, Tono Yatsu from the Land of Wano. Um, so yellow so far has been Land of Wano slash uh, Big Mom's Pirate stuff. So we'll see if that kind of continue, which it might continue that trend. Active main, you may trash this character up to one of your Land of Wano leader type or characters gains three thousand power this turn. Yeah, so you basically put him in sacrificing booster characters. Definitely nice. Alright, we have an event. Uh, the Don Quixote family for the Don Quixote Pirates. So they're in green. So we weren't sure what green was before. So the first guy was uh, a little bit mixture there. Um, but yeah, the Don Quixote family. And there's a place worthy of young master. And, uh, I like it. Das Young, this place, has a nice view. Not bad. Um, interesting characters. Uh, counter the top five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up the one Don Quixote pirate type card and add it to your hand. Then place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. Um, card search. It's not, never a bad thing. Act at this card's counter effect. Alright. Then we have another blue one we have. So the first one is East Blue. Now we have Animal Kingdom Pirates. So maybe they're going to switch to that. Um. You guys are all being eaten or transformed. Um, close the doors to every tower. This floor is finished. This is the shining jewel of my playgrounds. Ice Oni. Interesting. So he turns people into Ice Onis. Is that uh, Queen? King? Queen? Nah, I don't remember which one that is. Um, playgrounds is the name of the card. You may trash one Ice Oni from your hand. Place one character the cost of four less of the bottom of the owner deck. Play one ice only from your trash. You may trash one ice only from your hand and place one character the cost of four less to the bottom of the owner's deck. And then to play one ice only from your trash. So basically you gotta keep cycling the ice only with this card. Not the same one. So I think you have to trash the one, get rid of a card, but if you have one in your discard pile, you can replay them so you can use them again. Interesting. Alright, so that's the last of our commons. Our first uncommon. We're getting a bunch of events in here, which is really fun. Uh, Four Emperors, Animal Kingdom Pirates, Dragon Twister, Demolition Breath. There's Kaido. Um, interesting. Counter. Up to one of your leader or character cards gains 4,000 power during this battle. Then place up to one character the cost of one or less at the bottom of its owner's deck. Trigger. You can to one character the cost of six or less to its owner's hand. Nice different effect there too. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, blue looks like some animal kingdom pirates, which are previously purple. So I like when they jump the character, the grouping of characters in different colors, because like each color kind of has its own sort of effect or what it does. But when you move different grouping to them, it makes them more of a viable. Uh, thing to do so like black usually does um with the navy and stuff has been lots of stuff with the minus and characters levels to be able to use them um so that's pretty cool though if we get some other characters like that all right our yeah uh, next uncommon we have charlotte Moschiato um from big mom's pirates don this character gains banish trigger you may trash one card from your hand to play this card Interesting. Nice. So we got some more Big Mom's Pirates. Um, there was, of course, the starter deck that had some. Some of the last set. Pillars of Judgment had some. They're kind of continuing trying to fill them out. Um, 
All right, we got our next uncommon, which is actually our first leader. Uh, awesome. So you get dual colored Don Quixote Don Flamingo, seven warlords of the sea, and Don Quixote pirates. Um, end your turn. Uh, set up to two of your Don cards as active. So this is really fun because now he can be purple and green. Um, so we saw the other card there that worked with him, which was, I believe, a purple one. Or a green one. So, yeah, we haven't had any other purple cards yet, so I can't say who else is going to work with him. But, uh, we know one of the other purple starter decks is, um, is blah, 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 blah. the, um, Animal Kingdom Pirates, and we know some of the other ones have been Water 7. So there's some different ones in there that might work with that. So it'd be interesting to see what you can kind of combine with those two colors. All right, our first rare, we're going to get uh, Diamante from the Don Quixote Pirates. So right there, we get another character go right with him, uh, who has Blocker and Don times one and your current. If you have two or more active Don cards, set this character as active. Nice. So... Don Quixote there himself, active, such as active, then he comes in and makes himself active. That's pretty fun. And that first guy we had, he came active at the beginning of the turn as well. Um, that's pretty cool. Our second rare is Frankie, uh, who's Water 7 and the Frankie family. So this is before you go into Straw Hats. Um, on your opponent's turn, on, on your opponent's attack once per turn, Don minus one, you may return the specified number of Don cards from your field to your Don deck. If your leader has water, 7 type, up to one of your leader or character card gains 1,000 power during this battle. Um, nice, yeah, so when they attack, you can kind of boost somebody else up. That's pretty cool. Alright, that's what we have for pack number 1. Got some good stuff there. We got a leader right off the bat. Got some interesting new characters. We just see what everyone does. All right, pack number two. That's awesome. We got the Banana Gators uh, from Alabasta of uh, Crocodile. That's fun. Just simple card, but, you know, definitely nice to have. All right, we have Charlotte Bravios from Big Mom's Pirates. Gun one. If you have less life cards than your opponent, this character gains 1,000 power. The yellow likes to play having less life cards gain bonuses. Definitely a neat idea. Trigger, you may trash one card from your hand to play this card. Alright. In black, we have Ching Zhao. Um, who is spiky-headed, dropping upside down. So he's from uh, Dressos Dressrosa and the Hapasui Army. So interesting. So like... Um, I'm assuming, so I don't know this, so correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but Dressrosa must be like a location, and then the, um, other places are people in those areas. Um, kind of like Punk Hazard or Alabasta. Um, when this character battles and kills your opponent's character, draw two cards and trash two cards from your hand. Uh, so black is, this black has a bunch of stuff about trashing cards in your hand. Um, alright, up next... Ooh, we got Tony, Tony, Chopper, uh, Animal, Alabasta, and Straw Hat Crew. Um, on play, play up to one animal type character with a 3,000 power or less from your hand. Hey, we can get our, uh, our little, uh, friends out, our Jogons. Um, but that's neat. Um, awesome. Alright, then we have... Ideal from Dressrosa, who just has Blocker. If your opponent declares an attack, you may rest this card to make it the new target of the attack. Um, that was not a bad thing to have some of those. We have another event. There seems to be a lot more events in this set, which is not a bad thing. Um, Gun Mogaki. Um, check Ogin there. Main, you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. A play up to one of your line of wingle. Character cards gains double attack during this turn. Uh, trigger up one of your leader cards gains 1,000 power during this turn. And you're probably wondering, like, if he doesn't, hasn't watched this, how does he know who his characters are? Because I just opened up recently a bunch of packs um, 
from the previous sect that had Lang of Wingo characters. So I just know them because I just rag about all of them. Um, ooh, I love this. So Purple is going to also get his Baroque's works. Um, and the animal. So I figure we get, if we have alabaster and red, purple is going to be, like Don Quixote is in green, but purple is also going to kind of be crocodile and probably the enemies. Um, they seem to be doing that. They have like two colors that are kind of enemies of each other. Um, we have one that was like East Blue heroes and villains, and this one looks like it's going to be purple. It's going to be Broke's work, um, crocodile's team, and, um, Red's going to be Alabaster. So that'll be interesting. Um, active. You may trash this character and one of your characters with a type including Broke's work. Add up to one Don card from your Don deck and set it as active. Uh, play this card. So I wonder if it has to be specifically Broke's work or if former Broke's work works also works. I'm assuming it will because the CP cards... Lots of them are CP9, but there's a few like CP6 and 7s. And the cards will say if this has CP in the game. But it's not CP space, you know, 7. It's CP7. It's all one like combined word. So I'm assuming these also work with the former Baroque Works members. Um, yeah, but it's like you set your cards as active. Alright, we have in green another Don Quixote Pirate uh, Baby 5. Uh, she has a hip, no, it's her leg is a gun. Interesting. Um, she also carrying her sword. And your turn, you may trash this character, set up to two of your gun cards as active. Yeah, they're definitely, like, letting you do stuff to just play more and more cards quicker. Um, our first one coming is Solomane from Dressrosa on play. When attacking, if your leader has the Dressrosa type, deal up to one of your opponent's characters minus two, then trash one card from the top of your deck. I wonder if Black is going to have a leader that has a win condition of emptying your deck. Um, just based on how much we're getting for that. Our next uncommon, Monkey D. Luffy um, from Alabasta. That's the cover art of the pack. So that's always cool to get. And he just has Banish. Deals damage target characters trash without activating its trigger. Our first rare is uh Kepon Gang Beige. Uh Fire Tank Pirate. Interesting. So these are new. He has guns inside his belly. Um interesting. Trigger up to one of your opponents, leaders, or character cards can not attack during this turn. Nice. Um so yeah, we got a different Different grouping in yellow, which is always fun. So you have just being Big Mom's Pirates. And then we got our next rare, which, holy crap. Second pack, we drew a secret rare. Um, I also think it's the Ulk Art version. Um, I only think it's the Ulk Art version because you see this foil on there. Where it's kind of like um, on the side over here where it's like, textured like that, that usually tends to be a, um, alt art version. Um, plus, alt art likes to go out of the boxes as well. But, I would have to look up which version it is. If it's even just a secret rare, that's awesome. If it's an alt one, that's even better. Um, but that's cool. And it's a Don, Don Quixote Reson, Resonante. Uh, Navy and Don Quixote Pirates. Um, and he is green. Uh, on opponent's turn, if this character is rested, your active character, the base cost of five, cannot be KO'd by the effects. Active character, oh, he protects all your weak characters. On play, you may rest this character. Play up to one green character card that cost of five from your hand. That's neat. Um, that is, that's freaking cool. Um, yeah, we got one this early on. Um, alright, let's hit pack number three. Dun, dun, dun. We have another Kung Fu Jagong. Hey, we got the Ice Owners. Now we just see what these guys do. The Plague type and Animal Kingdom Pirates. Your turn at the end of the battle, in which this character values your opponent, character the cost of five or less, 
place your opponent's character you battled with at the bottom of its owner's deck. Interesting. So it doesn't have any power, but it can basically get rid of... doesn't banish them or get rid of them from the game, but it just puts them back in their deck. Um, as long as they have a 5 or left. Interesting. Alright, in green, we have a Kuro. East Blue uh, Black Cat Pirates. Nice. I think this kind of goes with the previous set that had more East Blue, but he was a leader in that set, so I think they wanted to give a character version. Um, I love his claws there. It's really cool. Um, Alright, nothing extra special about him. We have another Baroque Torque. We have Miss Golden Week, Marianne. Um, on play, your leader includes, if your leader type includes bro quirks, up to one of your opponent's characters the cost of five or less cannot attack until the start of your next turn. It's another theme that's running, this is, okay, this is always one thing that's also interesting about this game. Um, even though each color has their own, what they like to do, they also tend to have a theming of the set and then how each color works with it. Um, so you just saw Don Quixote having stuff with um, protecting characters of five. Now this is the second character we've had that had stuff that basically hurts characters or uh, affects with people with fives. Um, so it's kind of a neat idea. They might run through lots of this. Um, Don, minus one, play this card. Cool. Alright, so we got another Playgrounds. That's alright. Um, we got a Yoko Junya, Animal, and Water 7. Blocker and opponent's attack, gone minus one. Uh, return up to one of your opponent's characters that cost of two or less to its owner's hand. Um, our next one we have Barrier, uh, Dressrosa, and a Barto Club. Um, counter up to one of your leader or character cards gains 2,000 power. Then if you have 15 or more cards in your trash, that card gains an additional 2,000 power or more. This card, or draw two cards and trash one card. So there we go. I was wondering if there, this uh, was black was going to have something that benefited from trashing cards. This is one of the ones that would do it. Gain a better bonus if you have a lot of cards in your discard. Alright, next on, next common is Mr. 13 and Miss Friday. Our first uncommon is Super Spotted, Super Spot Build Duck Troops. Um, that's awesome. So we get, we get the Duck Troops. Um, animal and alabasca. When attacking, they give one of your active leaders minus. They give one of your active leader minus five thousand power during this turn. Return this character to its owner's hand at the end of the turn. Why would you give your leader minus five thousand power? And then it goes back to your hand, so you can keep using it. Interesting. So I have to see if the leader for this set has. Something or some more of the red cards affect having like low cost characters. Um, I'm not sure that's interesting. All right, in East Blue, we have Eric. Um, active, you may rest this character, rest up to one of your opponent's characters at a cost of one or less. Interesting, I don't know where he's from actually. Um, East Blue, so he's probably, like, maybe he's part of, like, Captain Kuro's crew. It's basically maybe how he's dressing his claws. But they thought he was a black cat pirate, so I'm not for sure. Alright, our first rare is we have King. Um, who can turn into a pterodactyl, apparently? That's cool. Um, Animal King Pirates in blue. Nice. On play, draw one card. Pretty high cost, good power, but he gets you a card. That's really nice. And then our second rare is Rebecca from Dressrosa. On play, look at the top of the card of your deck, reveal one Dressrosa card. Other than Rebecca, act your hand, trash the rest. Nice. So you get a, you search for a card, and you also work on trashing your cards for that effect. Um, really cool. All right. Let's hop into the next pack. I said, yeah, we, I don't know if we'll go through quite half of them in the first video just because going through reading a lot takes all but as we start getting through more than half um we'll start getting a lot more duplicates like this got another mrs golden week uh but we do have a brand new one we have uh black maria from the animal king pirates um 
focus a little bit better. Active main, pay two. Uh, you may rest this character to draw one card. Trigger, play this card. Uh, it's just a good card advantage here. In yellow, we have Carmel, the House of Lambs. No idea of any of that. Um, on your turn, your turn on play, draw one card. Trigger, play this card, then cap to one of your opponent's characters at a cost of two or less. It's a good effect, though. Um, free card draw, and... Um, but just interesting, the on play, the only triggers, though, if it's your turn. So if it, or the on play, draw a card. Uh, we have some more ice only. Always good you're going to need if you're going to use that plaid card properly. We have Viola from Don Quixote Pirates. On your opponent's attack. So this is a new thing. I don't think that's been in any of the other sets. So it's triggering on your opponent's attack. Pay two, rest up to one of your opponent's Don cards. Ooh, nice. Shut down their deck a bit. Um, more plaid rounds. We have a law. There's the other one from the artwork. Dink, dink, dink. Trafal Gra Law. Oh, I guess he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't have a D in his name. I thought he did. Um, Grasrosa, but he's also a Hearts Pirate. That's his crew. Um, oh, it's fairly simple. Um, our first gun coming, we have Lao G from Don Quixote Pirates. Um, end of your turn, if you have three or more active Don cards, tip to one of your opponents. Rested characters with a cost of three or less. Nice. Because yeah, this has lots of stuff to let you have your cards uh, active. So as long as you're not spending stuff, we have a lot of cards to let you bring them back up. Nice. Oh, that's fun. Uh, Mr. Three Galdino Brokes work um, with his big giant um, wax wax armored suit he has been painted by Mrs. Golden Week. So that's definitely fun. Um, on your turn, once per turn, minus one gun. Give one of your opponent's characters 1,000 power during this turn. I just want to see this. Since we had her right here. Um, if your leader type in good brute words, one of your characters with five or less cannot attack. Okay, I was just curious if maybe they teamed up since they're the Golden Week and Mr. Three are a combo. Um... But yeah, they don't actually work together at all. Interesting. Alright, our next uncommon. Enchanting Vertigo Dance from Alabasta. It's, is it Miss, is she Miss Wednesday? No, that's not right, is it? Enchanting Vertigo Dance, it's uh, Vivi. Um, if your leader has the Alabaster type, give up to two of your opponent's characters minus... 2,000 power during this turn. Trigger, activate this card's main effect. Awesome. Uh, so then our first rare is Bad Manners Kick Course. Uh, Alabaster and Straw Hat Crew. There's Sanji beating up a Banana Gator. Um, Conquer, you may trash one card in your hag. Up to one of your leader, char leader characters gains 3,000 power during this battle. Trigger, get up to one of your points. Pulling leaders are cards minus 3,000 during the turn. Interesting. So yeah, either you can boost your guys or you can weaken your opponents depending on when it gets hit. And then our other rare is Ingram. Uh, well, he pulls the bangs and his hair shoots out all the ball, uh, all the cannons and stuff. Um, from Alabaster. Active main, you may rest this character and give your active, one active leader, your act, your one Active leader, minus 5,000 power during this turn. One of the top five cards of your deck, reveal up to one Alabaster card type and add it to your hand. Then place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. The second card we've had from Alabaster that lets you reduce your power. Um, interesting. There has to be some other effects that work with that. Alright, next pack we have Black Maria again. We have Stutzy from CPO, or CP0. Um, on play, like three cards on the top of your deck, and put up to one character card with a type including CP, other than Stutzy, and a cost of two or less, and trash the rest. 
So you get your trash effects, plus you get a look for cards. This is becoming a very black thing as well. Um, we have Pound from Whole Cake Island. Um, blocker. And on KO up to one of your opponent's character cards that cost you three from the top or bottom of your opponent's Add one of your opponent's characters that cost a three or less to the top or bottom of your opponent's life card face up. So I believe, if I remember right, Pound is uh, Charlotte Linling, or Big Mom's wa latest husband. Um, interesting. Giola. Uh, Giola from Don Quixote's Pirates. You're getting a lot of these guys. On your opponent's attack, pay two. Um... Rest up to one of your opponent's characters that cost you four left. So it's interesting these lots of these new ones have you pay abilities, especially the Don Quixote ones, because they have other cards that are letting you um, make your Don cards active. So you can spend them and then turn around and make them active and have them ready for abilities that you need to have active or to play more effects like this. Um, especially having them ready on your opponent's turn. Play them on your your turn. Um cards in your turn then act have them ready to go so you can play on your opponent's attack interesting uh, in purple we have miss mary christmas Drawfee, um who has blocker and trigger don minus one play this card uh from the brooch work so we'll hopefully see a bunch more brooch work characters another viola another gun mogaki and a Stage, our first stage, we have Cordia Coliseum from Dress Rosa. Um, yep, there we go. So it's a location. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, toys and dolls. Oh no, the Thunder Soldier. That's cool. I love stages. If your leader has the rest of type, your Dress Rosa characters can attack characters on the turn on which they are played. Cool. So it gives people basically rush. Our first uncommon. Mr. Kuban Cree, uh, Betham, Beng, Benetham, from the Baroque's work. Uh, I think we've had some before where he's a former one, so this is cool to get a regular one version of him. Um, I think he's Bon Clay in the English adaptation. On your opponent's attack, Don minus one. This character's base power becomes the same as the power of your opponent's attacking leader or character during this turn. Neat. So he basically matches somebody else. They can have extra bonuses to change them. Um, but he just uses copy copy for it to become the same as them. That's cool. Uh, Hajarudin, uh, Giant, Dressrosa, and New Giant Pirates. Uh, active, I mean, you may rest one of your leaders. You may rest your one leader. Give up to one of your opponent's characters minus four cost during this turn. Uh, he's gonna rip that little tiny guy's arms off there. Alright, our first rare. We have Miss Valentine. Makika. Um, who has the ton-ton fruit. Uh, makes herself really heavy. Um... I'm playing the like, top five cards in your deck. Reveal up to one card, including a broke work. Add it to your hand, then push the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. Uh, so broke work and I find each other very much. Um, and Don minus one play this card. Our other rare is uh, Cavendish, Dressrosa, and the beautiful pirates. We're getting a lot more pirate sets in here. Um, this character can also attack active characters. Um, when attacking, you may rest your leader. Um, KO up to one of your opponent's characters at the cost of one or less, then trash two cards from the top of your deck. Nice. Um, interesting, it just says you may rest your leader, yet you may rest your one leader. So I wonder if they just, why they kept putting one in there, or if they just made a mistake on this one card. Um, cool though. Well, older black cards have stuff that lets you like, reduce cost. To get some of these guys, it's like, oh, one cost. That's not very helpful. But when you can play a card that drops their power by four or seven, um, this guy also becomes very powerful. All right. Up next, we have a new pack. We have a brand new common. We have Tom Fishman and Water 7. Um... 
acting in a trashless character, Fuelier has water stopping a one god card from your Don deck and Rustic. Deck acceleration, not bad. We have Hanger from the East Blue, which I do not remember in the lights. He looks like he's probably from Alabaster just based on the background. Well, he's from East Blue, so I can't be Alabaster. I don't know where he's from. Um, he's probably just in the same town. Um, I should say where he got his swords, but wasn't that, it wasn't Alabaster. That was before Alabaster. Or, um, I can't think of what town it was. Activate, you may trash one card from your hand and, and rest this character to draw one card. This is card draw whenever you might need it. Another Stuxy, Don Quixote Family, Ideos, now we're getting a bunch of duplicates and all the commons. Um, and then we have Randolph, uh, Big Mom's Pirate, and a homie. Um, interesting, all the other homies so far have been like, um, like clouds or elementals. This has a bunny rabbit. Very interesting. Our first uncommon is we have Iceberg from the Water 7 in the Galley Law Company. Um, on your opponent's attack, Gong minus 1. If your leader has Water 7 type, this character gains Blocker. Cool. Give your guy a Blocker if you need it. Another Vertigo Dance. And a Gryots from Dressrosa. On play, up to one of your... Dressrosa type characters can also attack active characters during this turn. Alright, neat. So that's the second thing that these guys need to do. Alright, our rare card. We have Color Trap. Ooh, with uh, Miss Golden Week. Colors Trap. Um, counter Don minus one. Up to one of your leader or characters gains 1,000 power during this battle. Then rest up to one of your opponent's characters at a cost of four or less. Trigger up going Don Carpenter Don deck and set it as active. All right, then our other one is our first super rare. Uh, Sabo, Dressrosa, and the Revolutionary Army. Um, I already got the Fire Fire. The Flame Flame. Flame Flame, Fire Fire? Ace is power. Um, I say it's, it's, I'm trying to remember if it's the Flame Flame for the Fire Fire for then it's Flame Flame. Um, I'm playing any of your characters can be KO'd by effects until the start of your next turn. Then draw two cards and trash two cards from your hand. That's a cool effect. So you get a play of now he's blocked, but he also protects all your other characters. Um, very cool. Alright, so it's our first super rare. So it's one of ten. Alright, next pack. We'll go a couple more. We'll try and get. A full video out of this. Alright, what do we have up first? We have another Stutzy. Ice Oni. Tony Tony Chopper. Daddy Master Sing. Another Barrier. And an Apis. Apis? East Blue. Um, on play, you may trash two cards from your hand. Look at it. Top five cards of your deck, go up to one each blue type, add to your hand, place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. Nice. So you have a bunch of searching in here, too. This is another one of these effects. It's kind of like going through all the things, but some of them are trashing the cards. Some are letting you put them back on top or bottom of your deck. Um, to give you some different effects. Uh, Tonosu Yasu. Uh, Nef Nefetari Cobra. Um, Vivi's dad, I believe, the king. On your turn, all of your alabaster type characters and other other characters gain one thousand power. Nice. Our first uncommon is we have Queen. Queen turns into a Brachiosaurus or a Brontosaurus. I'm not sure which. Um, on play, if your leader has Animal King of Pirates type, with seven cards from the top of your deck. Go up to two plague rounds or ISO in your cards. Add them to your hand and then place the rest of the bomb your deck on your That's awesome. Just to search for the ISO and plague cards. Uh, makes them a little bit better to have. And another Eric. Our first rare is we got a second king. We've had him already. Um, 
And then our other ones in Yule Event. We have Spiderweb. Seven more ways to see in Don Quixote's. This is Don Quixote's power. Um, counter up to one of your leader characters gains 4,000 power during this battle. Then step to one of your characters as active. Trigger up to one of your leaders gains 2,000 power during this turn. So I always wonder when it keeps putting stuff like up to one of your leaders. Like, are there going to be ways to have, at some point, to have more than one leader in play? Because it's giving you the option of some of these things are saying you're one leader or one leader. Um, like versus cards that affect all your characters or up to a certain number of characters. So it's interesting. Alright, next pack we have Crew, Animal, and Alabaster. Um, Alabasta. I keep saying Alabaster. Um, main effect, you may rest this character. You have one of your rested Don cards. To each of your Alabaster type characters. And neat. So you just hang them out then. Um, Qing Zhao. Tom. Kung Fu Jagan. Miss Merry Christmas. New event. The weak do not have the right to choose how they die. Um, seven warlords of the sea and Don Quixote Pirates. Main counter. Rest up to one of your opponent's leaders or character cards. Then take up to one of your opponent's rested characters. With a cost of six or less. Nice. You can even kill the one you just rested. Um, that's definitely cool. Otama from the land of Bueno. Um... After one of your opponent's animal or smile character types with a cost of three or less from the top of your opponent's life card space up. Add one of your opponent's animal or smile type character cost of interesting. It's a very specific to be able to get a trigger, but it's very powerful as well. Um You haven't seen a smile type in this set, though. There's some of the older ones. Um, we got an uncommon Usopp. Um, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a base power of... Uh, 5,000 base power or less. Nice. Um, he is straight up... He gets KO'd, he takes out someone just as powerful. Um, Alabaster and Straw Hat Crew... So we still need to see the other three characters. We have Luffy and we have Usopp, but we got we need to see, and Tony. But we need to see uh, Zoro, Sanji, and Nami yet. Um, another uncommon. We have Gum Gum, King Kong Gun, Destrosa, and Straw Hat Crew. So here's Luffy with one of his gear attacks, bashing into everything. Um, up to one of your Destrosa character types, gain 6,000 power during this turn. Then if you have 15 or more cards in your trash, this that card gains double attack. So again, another one that benefits from you having them 15 cards in your trash. Trigger, draw three cards and trash two from your hand. Next on common, we have Toko from the Land of Wano. You may trash two Land of Wano card types from your hand. If you have one or less life card, um, add one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. Interesting, so it can somehow save you from dying. Um, Alright, first rare, we have another Capone Beige. And our next one is we have a super rare. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Monkey D. Luffy. Um, So this has a star on it. So I'm wondering if this star means alternate artwork. Um, it very well could be. Because there's a star above his secret rare. So I was wondering if we had uh, a Rosa. We had his, his, uh, he just had his big his attack card. So I was hoping we are going to get one for this version. I think that's gear 3. Um, this character can also attack active characters. Active main ones per turn. You may turn seven cards from your trash to the bottom of your deck in any order. Set this character as active, then this character will not become active during your next refresh phase. Nice, yeah, so you can return a bunch of cards to your deck, um, and then you can get him as active, then he doesn't reactivate. 
Um, but yeah, this has that texture foil versus a regular foil. So I think this is an alt art. Um, these are usually a little bit more stylized and they take up the border. Alright, so we got maybe two or three more packs we'll probably do for this. We won't quite hit the 12, but we'll get fairly close. Uh, we have Ryabang, or Rabian, a big mom pirate and a homie. Yeah, this is like a carpet, so they're very interesting cards. Trigger, play this card. Black Maria, Tony Tony Chopper. Imamon Matsu, Ayo, some more playgrounds, another Rango. Uncommon, we have a Vertigo Dance, Solomon, and we have a new leader. We have uh, Isho uh, from the Navy, a black and green. It's just black is very that, but Don Quixote also falls into that um, Navy color, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, the green. Um, Gong, times one, on your turn, give all your characters minus one cost. And your turn, pay one, set up to one of your characters the cost of five or less as active. Again, put it that five or less cost. That is very cool. Um, interesting. Guess who else we can do with him. Um, our first rare thing is, uh, Truno Bastardio. Um, main. Choose up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less and KO it. If you have 15 more cards in your trash, choose one of your opponent's characters with a cost of six or less instead of a character with a cost of four or less. Cool, so it actually does a lot more. You can hit a lot higher character. Trigger, you may rest your leader tip to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. And our other rare is Senor Pink um, from Don Quixote Pirates. When attacking, pay one. Your leader has a Don Quixote Pirates type. Um, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. Then set up to one of your cards as active till the end of turn. Nice. Okay. All right, um, I think this will probably be, it might be our last pack for this video. Uh, we'll see Pound, Curl, there we go. We got a Sanji finally, Alabaster and Straw Hat, some extra special abilities, but still cool. Uh, Hanger, Epis, Cobra, uh, brand new common, Charlotte, Pespero, Prospero? First Pro Pro. Uh, I'm not sure. Big Mom's Pirates. Um, kind of neat. Because some of these characters, you have so many different versions that, that do stuff. It's nice to get just kind of the blank versions. Um, Harjuring. Um, Super Spotted Build Duck Troops. And our other uncommon is Jack. Which is in his mammoth form. Um, so that's neat. Because I know we've gotten these guys before. Um... In the purple um, starter decks, it's kind of neat getting them like their animal, their other forms, doing stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, we rare, we have another Cavendish. And our second one is we have an Oling Lang of Lano for Emperor's Big Mom's Pirates. Um, also, keep this card name is Charlotte Ling Ling, according to the rules. Trigger if you have one or less life card, play this card. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, we'll do one last pack since we had a lot of uh, duplicates in that one. And we will see what we get. Um, we have another Tom. Kung Fu Jagon, Strutzy, Coliseum, Yokozuna, Don Quixote. First uncommon, we have Hera, Big Mom Pirate, and another homie. Uh, active main, you may crash one of your homie type characters other than this card to rest this character. And rest this character. Set up to one of your Charlotte Lane characters as active. 
nice, definitely very effective. Um, we have another Bong, Bong Curry. We got another Gon Kyoke leader card, unfortunately. Our first rare, though, we got Ulky Animal King Pirates. Um, who's a Dodo? Or a Velociraptor? I'm not sure. Um... When a character can up to one character, the cost of course is owner's hand or the bottom of their deck. Nice. Um, our second rare is Color Traps. And then we got, dun dun dun, we drew the Dawn card. So nice, I got the special Dawn card in here. Um, with Vivi. But if we ever see each other again, will you call me your shipmate? Um, definitely cool. Alright, so I think we're going to end the video there. I will, we did, I think we did uh, 11 of the 12 packs. Um, to do one more in the next one. But in between videos, I will, uh, before part 2, I will go through and calculate, see what we're missing. I'll start part 2 off by, you know, saying what's left. And if we have all the comments for some reason, or if we're missing one or two once we get them, we'll stop looking at the comments. Um... And then if we same thing with uncommon, if we end up getting all the rares. Um, I think we only got technically two of the super rares. Although one I think was an alt arc. And we got one secret rare. So we have a bunch of those other special cards to hope to look for. Alright, see you guys in part two. Bye.